purple. Since the dawn of time, mankind has been fascinated by this colour. It is the colour of magic, of royalty and sexuality. It also looks pretty bitchin' on power armour. Hello and welcome to Warp Fiend Studios, where chaos reigns. Today we're going to be looking at Fabius's purple power armour. We did his flesh cloak last time, so today we're going to be looking at this. Now, purple's always a great colour to paint, and I've always been very fond of the way the Heavy Metal team paints it. Whether it's on Fabius's model, or on the Caradron Overlords, you know, it's... It, it's just a good solid colour. Everyone enjoys painting it. Now Fabius's armour is a it's a darker version of the original Empress Children purple power armour. Um maybe a hint of red in there, uh, more towards the red end of purple. Um it's a easy colour to paint purple, but it's hard colour to paint well. And if we want to get it like the heavy metal one, we want to try and get as many precise highlights as possible. Okay. Well, let's give it a go then. I've started off by just basing all the bits that are going to be purple in black. Um, now I'm going to go over them all with Nagaroth Knife. And then we're just going to cover the whole thing. Now we're going to start glazing over areas with some various purple. We just want to be keeping it thin, uh, pulling the paint towards the areas where we want most light to be hitting. You can see I start sketching out roughly some of the highlights that are going to be along the leg. Now I've just chosen these as points of light, vertical lines where I think light might be hitting and reflecting. We're not going to go too into detail with these, but I, I do like to have just a few extra points of reflection on power armour. It just gives it that extra, extra fit. Okay, so now we're going to get a 50-50 mix of Xerius Purple on horror. And we're just going to do the same thing again, covering a little less. You can see we also go along these highlights again, just defining them a bit, drawing another smaller line inside it, trying to keep the whole thing very, very neat. Get to go around with this mix and just get to a couple of rough edge highlights as well. Now I'm going to do the main highlighting. Um, I'm going to use Pink Horror for this. We're just going to go around all the edges of the panels. Some of these areas at the bottom. We don't need to line all of them, but if we put in a few nice lines here and there, to just, you know, suggest that there's a bigger surface area and lights reflecting in different places. Going to reinforce all our light lines as well, our reflections. Now we're going to come back with Emperor's Children. And we're going to go over all of those edge highlights again. But just try and keep it a little bit thinner. Now 
Now we do 50-50 of Emperor's Children and Korak's Life. We're going to do some extreme highlights and we're just going to pick out certain segments to do. So we wouldn't do the entire highlight, but some of the areas where light might be catching more. And then done that, we've got some pure core up fight and just dot it on a few places where lines intersect. Just give our highest level of reflection. Now we're going to mix together some Nagaroth Night with black and Flash Gits Yellow in about a 40-40-20 mix, so just a little bit of yellow. Uh, thin it down a lot and then glaze it over portions of the armour that would be in shadow. The reason that we're adding yellow is uh, it's the opposite to purple on the colour wheel, so just a touch of that in there will help to pump up the richness of the purple. And now we're just going to thin down some black paint, very thin, and we're just going to run it down all the recesses just to outline them and deepen that separation between different volumes. So now we're going to take some Volops Pink Contrast Paint. We're going to thin it down about one to three with contrast medium. So it's uh, fairly transparent. And we're just going to glaze this over the entire armor. Now, the reason I'm doing this is just, just slightly bring out some of the red tones in the purple, which I think is a much more interesting color. So that's done. I'm pretty pleased with it. I will say um, there's a little bit of uh, texture to it that I'm not quite happy with. Whether there's some dust popping at some point or if um, some of the other clips of paint that have been underneath are maybe not so smooth as I'd like. Uh, but on the whole I'm really pleased with the way the purple looks and so yeah that's on with the next stage of Fabius. So next week we're going to cover Fabius's face and I uh, hope to see you then. Bye bye!